Jesus said, when you hate, it's murder in your heart. Because that's what the heart is. The heart is deceitfully wicked and desperate above all things. I tell you, when you have a heart centered in God, you find out what pleases God. And you're eager to do the will of the Lord. Oh, you spit on me, I bless you with the gospel. I bless you with forgiveness of sins through the gospel, the hope of eternity. Do you see what happens when the preaching comes out? It brings out the spiritual realm. You know, I was just out of the, uh, San Francisco, you know, at some of these big events, the Gay Pride event. And they preach so much about, it's just love. Why can't you just love and accept us? Yet two seconds later, they're pushing us and spitting on us. And they want to kill us. Oh, where's the love? Where's the love that they profess? Oh, I tell you, the love of God is found through the balanced gospel. Of not only the goodness of God, but the, the sternness of God. Oh, that, that it's right that God would chastise us. It's right that God would discipline us. It's right. Because through that, we learn obedience to Him. We learn holiness. We learn righteousness. That's the gospel is a rebuke. It comes and it rebukes us. But you know what it does? God breaks down and he's able to build up. Why and what he did... What's... I'm sorry? What are you accomplishing right now? What am I accomplishing? Yeah. Oh, first and foremost, I'm being obedient to my, to my, my loving Savior, Jesus. He told me, he said, woe to me if I don't preach the gospel. Woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. It's laid and necessity is laid upon me. And I believe and I know the power of the word. You might say, ah, oh, the word doesn't make sense to me. I have no, no validity. I tell you what, the word of God, it never returns void, the Bible says. It's spirit. Jesus said, my words are spirit. What when, were the two greatest commandments that Jesus gave? Oh, he said to love the Lord your God. You know what Jesus also said about love? He said, if you love me, you'll obey my commandments. He said, no greater love has any man than to lay his life down for another. Why are you laying your life down for God? Well, what, what type of love do you walk in today? I'm here, to you, others, I'm, I'm here to tell you the love of God is to tell the truth. The Bible says that, the, that love does not rejoice in iniquity, but it rejoices in the truth. And if you would see the, the whole counsel of God, you'd see the picture of love. It was it was written through a man. His name was Jesus. Like, well, how is he knew, loving of us? That he knew no sin, the Bible says. That, that God gave him who knew no sin to become sin. Jesus Christ became sin. In those moments when he, when he was on the cross, and the Bible teaches that it said, he said, my, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus Christ, what he said. Oh, it was because, because Jesus Christ didn't do anything wrong. He was made into sin for you and I. He felt the pain of your iniquity. He suffered you for you and I. Question. And the Bible teaches that he said in the end, he said, it is finished. Sure, go ahead. Do you believe in everything the Bible says? Well, of course. I mean, if, if, the, if, if, there was, if there was anything in the Bible that was not true, then God would be a liar. God is not a liar. God is separate from sinners. All right, so my question is, do you believe in everything that the Bible says? Do you believe in stoning your child in your mind and then you would no, see, brother, you, you, you err in your heart because you don't know the scriptures. The Bible teaches you that the law... Oh, let me answer your question before you, before you under, so you can understand why. The Bible teaches that the law of God was a schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. It said that once Christ has come, once faith has come, we're no longer under your schoolmaster. The law of God is a tool, the Bible teaches. The law of God is perfect. The law of God is, is, uh, has been tried in the fire. It converts the soul, but Jesus Christ is the embodiment of the law. The Bible teaches Rush, that, Jesus. that the righteousness of God has been revealed, that, 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 that it's being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Jesus Christ came apart from the law, and he came and he, he fulfilled the law of God. That whoever's in Christ is the end of the law. That's why the law is a schoolmaster. It shows us that, it, that it, it's wrong for, for, for children to dishonor their parents. It's wrong for people to steal. When God, if God were to give you and I justice, it'd be right for him to give us help. It'd be right to destroy us in our sin. And that's what the law was an image of. The law showed us that these things require an account. Well, your law states that if a child is disrespectful to their parents, then they should be killed. Again, I go back to what I, I repeated to you. Not, we're, the, we're the fulfillment of the laws in Jesus. And the Bible says that, that I belong dead to the law, that I might live to God. I don't, work, I'm not, I don't follow the, 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 the Levitical law. I don't follow the... the I mean, the, the righteousness of the law is in Christ. The Bible teaches that all those who, who are in the Spirit, they fulfill the righteous requirement of the law. Jesus came to give grace. Isn't it great that, that Jesus came so that we didn't have to stone people to death anymore? We didn't have to, you know, go about and deal with these, the harshness of the law anymore? Oh, but I tell you what, Jesus, Jesus Christ and, and His law is going to go on forever. And there's going to come a day that you will be judged according to God's law. You'll be judged according to the righteousness of God. Sin is transgression of God's law. And you need to look at it because God's law is written on your heart. I'm glad that he's brought this up. This, this is good. You can see the Bible teaches the law of God is good for the sinner, the unholy, and the profane. It's good that we should look at the law. It's supposed to bring us to grace. It's supposed to bring us to faith. Don't you want to be forgiven with the curse of the law? 
one second. So the Bible teaches that if, if you want actually, if you want to ask questions, I would prefer if you go to my brother Israel over here. So I'm, I'm, I'm called to preach right now. Um, he, he's more than willing to answer your question. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So I, I like women. I'm full of bugs. I see women okay. all the time, and I'm being like sexy. Honest. So do I go to hell for that? Well, I'm telling you what the Bible says. The Bible says no fornicator. It says no homosexual person, no adulterer will enter into the kingdom of heaven because it's because it's perverted, it's crooked, it's wicked. It's, it brings out um, that which is evil. Like you know, you have no self control when you when you live that way. You know, because uh, even if you were to marry a woman, you, I mean, what would keep you back from cheating on you? What would keep you? I mean, all these things they bring out the evil. They bring out the worst things. You look at people who destroy marriages, they destroy households, women. They creep into men to households and they break up marriages. Men cheat on their wives. So to justify, so to justify but, but I, go to hell, I go to hell. I go to hell. So to justify, I go to hell. Sorry. So to justify, I go to hell. Well, God says that, that there no, is no, a hell. No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking a question. I'm telling you what God says. I, I don't. I, I can't. I can't save you or condemn you. The Bible says that there is one lawgiver. Who, 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 who will have to give an account to him. His name is Jesus Christ. Right. And he did say that the wicked will be cast into hell. And all the nations that forget God, it's a reality. I do preach. If you notice, I don't just preach about hell, fire, and brimstone. If you want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. I mean, it's in the Bible. It's important. It's important that we would know what God is, is holding over the, the, the feet of us. It is a reality. Fire is real. Burning is real. Suffering and pain and destruction is real. It's the smoke of their twin. It rose forever. There was no rest day or night, the Bible teaches. These things are real. Oh, where is Hitler at? Where are all the evil people of the world? Where are the people going to go and hate God? Hitler is underground somewhere. But I tell you what, the spirit of man and the, or the soul of man will live forever somewhere, sir. And I'm here to tell you that, that why will you die in your sin? Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't perish and, and follow that evil way. God's giving you a way out. I appreciate it. Jesus, oh man, the prayers of a sinner are not heard, the Bible teaches. The Bible says that the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. How his ears are sinner? attentive to their prayers. How is but the, a sinner but the, supposed but the, to be freed face, from his sins if the prayers of a sinner are not heard? That's a good question. That's a very good question. When he humbles himself and, and confesses his sins, he doesn't justify his sins. See, when you come and you justify your sins and you try to tell God that he's wrong in his judgment, you, you harden your heart. But when you come and you beat your chest like that man in the Bible, it said he bowed his head to the, to the ground. He bowed his head to the ground and he said, Lord God, he said, have mercy on me, a sinner. And Jesus Christ told him, go and sin no more. And that person believed that he could do it. See, without a vision, the people perish, the Bible teaches. You must have a vision. A vision of the power of God coming upon you, changing you. Oh, if any man's in Christ, he's a new creation. I'm a new creation. I don't recognize, I think about who I used to be. I don't even recognize the person I used to be. It's, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm a completely new, and, and I've been washed with the blood of the Lamb. I have, I, have, I have received the power of God. 